How's it going everybody? Corbin here from Zoco Marketing. In today's video, I'm going to be walking you through how to set up a TikTok business center and how to create a TikTok ads account and how to link up your TikTok ads account to that TikTok business center. Um, now, for those who are wondering on why you might, may want a TikTok business center, the most common reason is that you are running multiple TikTok ad accounts. Um, say you're an agency or you have multiple ad accounts that you want to manage all under one roof. That is essentially the reason why you'd want to set up a TikTok ad center. Also, if you are just managing one account, I do recommend setting this up because it's just kind of clean hygiene. It's an easy way to give people access to different, different settings and things like that. Uh, essentially, Essentially, a TikTok business center is the equivalent of a Facebook business manager if you're familiar with the Facebook world. And here's what TikTok has to say about the business center on essentially why people would consider doing it. Is one is for the collaboration, centralization, all of your assets are on one place, and then accountability, you can control who has permission to those assets as well. So there's lots of different reasons on why you'd wanna set up a TikTok business center. But basically, like I'm saying, I, I recommend everybody t sets up the TikTok business center and then creates their ad account and attaches it there. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to um, do this. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is come over here to um, www.tiktok.com forward slash business. I'll link this down below as well. So you can just go through and click that link. You're gonna see something like that looks like this. We're gonna click in this top right hand corner, create new. And if for whatever reason you've already created a ad account, then no worries. I'm gonna show you how you can link up that ad account directly to your um, business center account as well. So I'm gonna go through and add these details real quick in here. And once you get to this point, it's going to ask for you uh, for a verification code to send your email. So you gotta send that over. You gotta pick the shapes. So we got here objects that are the same shape. We got K and K, I'm gonna hit confirm. Verification complete. And then now it's going to send a, uh, a code to our email. So we're gonna go and grab that real quick. Once you have that verification code in your email, just copy that inside of there and then we're gonna sign up. It is um, worth noting as well, you can sign up through TikTok directly or with a phone number if you'd like, if you don't wanna use your email, but we're gonna use email for here. We're gonna to have to click on these terms and then if you want to get e emails from TikTok, you can keep this checked. I'm going to uncheck it. We're gonna hit sign up. Okay, and now we are going to go through and create our account. So I am in the United States. I'm gonna keep that as is industry. I'm gonna call this e-commerce and it asks for even more. We're gonna say clothes and shoes. This is just the test account. So we're gonna keep it at that. And then business name, we'll call it house to home DIY. And then um, our time zone, I am located American Denver and phone number and currency. And then once again, we agree to the terms and services and hit register. Now it's going to go through and ask for a couple of different other descriptions to describe your business. Okay, so we went through and added our website and then it's asking for billing information. So I'm gonna add in some billing information real quickly, or billing address, sorry. And then here is kind of an important thing depending on how you wanna get billed. You can either do automatic payment where you essentially add your credit card and when you hit a certain pay payment threshold, TikTok will cr charge your credit card. Or if you wanted to only say, oh, I only wanna charge $100 no matter what, that way it doesn't go over, you could add a manual payment um, so that that way the card never gets charged any more than you want it to. I'm gonna keep it on automatic payments for now. We're gonna hit next. And then here it's going to walk you through and ask you if you want simplified mode or custom mode. I recommend custom mode because it gives you more options inside of the platform. And I do have full tutorials on the TikTok ads if you're you're wondering. Uh, you can check out the links down below to um, get resources to learn TikTok ads. So we're gonna go into custom. And then now we are finally gonna be brought to our actual campaign. It's gonna drop you into like start building out a campaign, which you could start doing if you'd like, but I want to go back over here to the dashboard. So now we have successfully created our ads account, but now we wanna go through and add this ad account to a business uh, business center account. And how you do that is once you're inside of your ad account here, you just simply come over here to this little business center button. You can click on that. It's gonna take you to another window where you can go through and actually en uh, add your business center name. So for here, I'm just gonna call this Corbin um, White's test. And then you add your time zone. We're gonna say Denver. And then here you can add a profile image if you'd like. I'm not going to for this one. We're gonna hit create here. And then now, as you can see, I have a business center, um, my business center account right here. I'm gonna click inside of that and it's gonna walk you through um, essentially how to go through and add your accounts. And once again, this is basically just a shell. The business center account gives you the ability to add multiple ad accounts so that you can manage those, especially if you're an agency or different things like that. So um, what you need to do is come over here to add accounts. Um, and this is where we can go through and request access 
to the ad account that we just created. And in order to do that, we need to come back over here and we need to grab the ad account ID, which if you're wondering, the ad account ID can be found by clicking on this little button right here. And then you can copy this guy. It's blurred out for you guys right now, but there's a, a number right there that you can go through and, and paste and then come back over here and then copy that in. And you can request the access permission, either admin, operator, analyst. If you're gonna be running ads for someone, I'd recommend admin. And then now we can send that over. And th so this is a little bit different because I own this ad account, it's going to automatically request it. It's, it's saying because I'm the admin of this advertising account, your request has automatically been approved. Um, so that's awesome, right? That I have access to this ad account. But say that for you, you were sending this to a client. Essentially what that would look like is after you send the, um, the request over, if you go over, if you have the client go over to their um, ad account, they're going to get a little notification right here that gives them the ad, gives them the permit or the, that gives them a notification to say, hey, approve this user to use your ad account um, so if your clients are getting you know uh, tripped up on that that's where they would find that notification and they could give you access but if we come back over here to the business center we can refresh this and now you'll see that we have access to the ad account that we just requested so here's the one right here and then all the different requests you can see them inside of this area if you wanted to add new members this is where you can come through and do that as well you can invite a new member and uh, type in their email address give them standard or admin access and as well as partners here and um, request access or, or test different audiences so that's the advantages of having a, a business a TikTok business center if you just have the one account then it's harder to give permissions and different things like that hopefully you found this video helpful like I said if you are looking to learn more about TikTok ads feel free to check out this video right here and we'll see you in the next video